So as far as goals in the company go, I have worked in other places where they, they try and implement these very specific timelines and have this done by this period of time. So you have to work a 10, 12 hour day all week to try and get something that's kind of half finished that might pass for it. Like it might not be a realistic goal, but often managers might not be programmers or might not understand what goes into something. So we have a very fluid sense. So each quarter, we have a theme. For each, each quarter, um, Russell, along with the admin team, get together and they put together what they feel are realistic goals for the quarter to accomplish. So for Ad Shoe, we need to get all of the blocks completed and tested and you know good to go on the beta. Or for implementation, they need to get X amount of hours completed. And we get prizes if we finish these different tasks. And you know, sometimes we might not complete the goals, you know, one department or two departments or whatever, but I think it's a fun way to be driven towards a goal. You have a whole quarter, three months to do something. I think goals are definitely very important. Um, it gives you something to work towards. Um, I like the way we do it here at Avis, and you know, we have our big, hairy, audacious goal which is 10 years down the line, and then we have our annual goals, and then we break them down into our quarterly goals. And, um, it, you know, when you're working for a quarterly goal, uh, you're working hard to meet that in a three-month time, but that's also helping to you to reach your annual goal and then your, your BHAG. So, um, I know for me personally, um, I like breaking my goals down into milestones, and then I can reach, uh, you know, I, I, I say, okay, to reach this goal, this is what I need to do. The best way to um, measure, if you can come up with something that is measurable related to a person's position, then you can build key performance indicators or KPIs in order to track that. Um, that's best because it's something that is uh, objective. So an individual, just, you know, it's something personal. It's what's wrong with this number, why aren't we going up there? And to have a clear oversight where they know where they stand all the time. People need that feedback so that they can course correct as quickly as possible. A big thing for us is time. Like we only talk about time. You know, we have so many hours in the week um, and then we have so many things that we have to get done within that week. Um, so for us, our goals are based around turnaround. Uh, how fast can we see a problem, fix it, and then provide solutions to the customer. Um, and then being able to track time and forecast how much time something is going to take us, and then see the results of that. Um, our KPIs are all always looking towards a individual objective, um, so you can help yourself manage your day, as well as the team objective. How much is the team giving back to, to clients, and how much time or how many resources are devoted to all, towards all of that. You know, seeing a company and when you start to utilize them in, 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 in your day-to-day -day operations, in your day-to-day -day practices, and the way you truly run your company, it takes a little bit of kind of like getting your hands off of, you know, I want reports, I want to pull this report, I want to see this, I want to look at this report, and uh, I, I think it takes a little while to get off of that, but then once you can let it go and you can just run everything off of dashboards and KPIs and and stream everything and everything runs off of acceptance and you don't have to do all those reports. I think once you can let it go, I think it's kind of freeing to, you know, it lets a little bit of pressure off, but it takes a little while and the bike comes to take their hands off, or you, or you have your KPI on the chair report for a little while and it actually goes away. So I think there's two, there's, there's three sides to this. Um, I, I think from the professional services side and the consulting side, you obviously have to measure things like billable time and revenue. It's what allows us to grow, it's what allows us to hire more employees, it's what allows us to expand. So that's important. Um, the second side is the client. The client. And, and, and measuring that is, is fairly difficult from a KPI standpoint because you don't have some daily tick on how happy the customer is. I think that's a huge metric that you have to really rate your performance on because, again, if you have a lot of billing but your customer's unhappy with you, that billing is going to go away very quickly. And I think the third thing is 
of the morale of our team and, and each employee, each team member. Um, it is very crucial that, that, that consultants in particular don't get burned out, that they don't get into in too big of a monotonous kind of rut where they're doing the same thing and they're not growing and they're not being challenged or they're being challenged too much. What's important is that you have to have all three. If you don't have all three pieces to that triangle, we are not accomplishing our goals.